Question 1. What is meant by Teradata Gateway? Answer. Just like channel driver, Teradata Gateway acts as a medium of communication between the PaaS engine and applications that are attached to network clients. Only one gateway is assigned per node. Question 2. Does STLC changes when you use Teradata instead of Oracle? Answer. If the Teradata is going to be only a database means it won't change the system development life cycle STLC. If you are going to use the Teradata utilities then it will change the architecture or STLC. If your schema is going to be in 3NF then there won't be huge in change. Question 3. Steps to create a data model? Answer. Get business requirements. Create high level conceptual data model. Create logical data model. Select target DBMS where data modeling tool creates the physical schema. Create standard abbreviation document according to business standard. Question 4. What is OLTP? Answer. OLTP stands for Online Transaction Processing. OLTP uses normalized tables to quickly record large amounts of transactions while making sure that these updates of data occur in as few places as possible. Consequently OLTP database are designed for recording the daily operations and transactions of a business. For example a time card system that supports a large production environment must record successfully a large number of updates during critical periods like lunch hour breaks, startup and close of work. Question 5. Differentiate database data and data warehouse data? Answer. Data in a database is detailed or transactional, both readable and writable and current. Data in data warehouse is detailed and summarized. Storage place for historical data. Question 6. What is a three-tier data warehouse? Answer. The three-tier differs from the two-tier architecture by strictly enforcing a logical separation of the graphical user interface, business logic, and data. The three-tier is widely used for data warehousing today. Organizations that require greater performance and scalability. The three-tier architecture may be more appropriate. In this architecture, data extracted from legacy systems is cleansed, transformed, and stored in high-speed database servers, which are used as the target database for front-end data access. The t Question 7. What is data mining? Answer. Analyzing of large volumes of relatively simple data to extract important trends and new, higher level information. For example, a data mining program might analyze millions of product orders to determine trends among top spending customers, such as their likelihood to purchase again, or their likelihood to switch to a different vendor. Question 8. What is real-time and near-real-time data warehousing? Answer. The difference between real-time and near-real-time can be summed up in one word, latency. Latency is the time lag that is between an activity completion and the completed activity data being available in the data warehouse. In real-time, the latency is negligible whereas in near-real-time the latency is a tangible time frame such as 2 hours. Question 9. What is ODS? Answer. An operational data store, ODS, is primarily a dump of relevant information from a very small number of systems, often just one, usually with little or no transformation. The benefits are an ad hoc query database, which does not affect the operation of systems required to run the business. ODSs usually deal with data raw and current and can answer a limited set of queries as a result. Question 10. What is real-time data warehousing? Answer. Real-time data warehousing is a combination of two things, real-time activity and date to warehousing. Real-time activity is activity that is happening right now. The activity could be anything such as the sale of widgets. Once the activity is complete, there is data about it. Date to warehousing captures business activity data. Real-time data warehousing captures business activity data as it occurs. As soon as the business activity is complete and there is data about it, the completed activity data flows into the data warehouse and becomes available instantly. In other words, real-time data warehousing is a framework for deriving information from data as the data becomes available. Question 11. What is data mart? Answer. A data mart is a special purpose subset of enterprise data used by a particular department, function or application. Data mates may have both summary and details data. However, usually the data has been pre-aggregated or transformed in some way to better handle the particular type of requests of a specific user community. Data mates are categorized as independent, logical and dependent data marts. Question 12. How do you determine the number of sessions? Answer. 
Teradata Performance and Workload Client Platform Type Performance and Workload Channel Performance for Channel Attached Systems Network Topology and Performance for Network Attached Systems Volume of Data to be Processed by the Application Question 13 there is a column with date in it. If I want to get just month how it can be done. Can I use substring? Answer. Substring is used with char fields. So it cannot be used. To extract month from a date column. X select extract month from. Same thing for year or day. Or hour or minutes if it's a time stamp. Select extract minute from column name. Question 14. What is basic Teradata query language? Answer. It allows us to write SQL statements along with dict commands. We can use dict for importing, exporting and reporting purposes. The commands start with a dot and can be terminated by using semicolon. It is not mandatory to use semicolon. Dict will assume anything written without a dot as a SQL statement and requires a semicolon to terminate it.